crowds at Ebbets Baseball Field, Brooklyn, greet President Roosevelt starting his tour of New York City. Here on behalf of his friend Senator Bob Wagner, Mr. Roosevelt has a special word for Brooklyn Dodger fans. You know, I come from the state of New York, and I've got to make a terrible confession to you. <laughs> I come from the state of New York, and I practice law in New York City, but I have never been in Everett's Field before. <laughs> I rooted for the Dodgers. <laughs> and I hope to come back here someday and see them play. Now the procession through the metropolis in a downpour of rain which Mr. Roosevelt braves in an open car. <laughs> FDR's first outdoor appearance as a campaigning candidate. He doesn't seem to mind the weather one bit. New York certainly knows there's a political campaign on. At the Waldorf Astoria, before the Foreign Policy Association, Mr. Roosevelt advocates force to maintain post-war peace and pledges the disarming of Germany. The German people are not going to be enslaved. Why? because the United Nations do not traffic in human slavery. But it will be necessary for them to earn their way back. Earn their way back into the fellowship of peace-loving and law-abiding nations. And in that climb up that steep road, we shall certainly see to it that they are not encumbered by having to carry guns. <laughs> we hope they will be relieved of that burden forever. <laughs> 